got to remember, man, when, when he on that Henny Demix, man, listen, that liquid courage, how you saying anything about anybody? To have the conversation with the LLs, the TIs, and everything else. I mean, I think that's the thing people don't understand. Like, mm -hmm. you're not a bad guy. You know what I mean? I've been knowing you for a long time. You're actually a, a student of the game. You know what I mean? And I think just like any of us, you can get caught up in the performance of it all sometimes. You know what I mean? But you got you to gotta deal with the consequences of those actions. Like I always tell you, it's, it's going to come at some point. We've all gotten punched in the face. You know what I mean? I don't think it's worth it in the long run. I don't. No, no, hold on. No, no. Of course, it's, it's never worth it, mm -hmm. right? What I mean worth it is like, this is just hip hop. And, and the same way everybody running around saying it's the most dangerous job in the world, which it's not. But still, everybody running around saying that. If you believe that, you you must know when you pick up a mic, you you might die. <laughs> right? So so, yeah. so so here's the thing. When I also pick up a mic to give my comments, I understand it might get that serious too. You got to take the If we're calling it the most dangerous job in history, right? It could go any way at any time ba based based off how you choose to communicate my take on it and it won't be long dj academics is a lot like a lot of drill artists they know exactly what comes with the territory they understand that when they go out of their front door they better stay ready and be ready and they better have already prepared to get ready when they're going to events when they're going out they're going outside into territories that they know and understand dj academics actually specifically didn't move into a certain place because he saw fivio foreign doing this and behind him was the sky rise that he was looking to buy you don't think this understands that he is a target in hip-hop he definitely understands and he will be like six nine if something was to happen to him everybody would be like hey that comes with the territory i don't think people understand there's been media outlets recently just in the last couple of years that have literally got laid to rest because they decided to post about certain situations and, and circumstances saying if you want to be a media outlet and you want to you want to um you know solve mysteries and murders and things like that hey that's just that, i don't but that ain't me i don't feel like that's that's my the lane that i'm going down you know and a lot of um historically a lot of hip-hop media outlets tend to do that why because it get, it gets a lot of views i'm not gonna front you know pmb rocks passing i kind of knew of his music and i was kind of a fan of his music i liked his melodic flows and how he kind of sing rap and things like that so that's why i posted on that but and you know you know but i didn't really do too much you know extra posting you know i'm i'm learning you know, as i'm growing and I think he's still learning as he's growing that everything isn't necessarily post worthy, but he's also a media outlet and he has to post on things that's going on in his in his sphere or else. So actually criticize him for not posting certain things. But this is not a post. This is him ranting and going off on people and calling Regina Carter a B word and all that. I, you'll never hear me do that because that's just not my character. You know, I, I really believe in uh, building not only the black community up, but uh, nations up. So. I'm on a totally different time when it comes to DJ Academics in that regard. And you got to remember, man, when, when he on that Henny Demix, man, listen, that liquid courage, how you saying anything about anybody?